Next time I get half the chance, I'm gonna grab that-
Sympathy for old Frog. He deserved the time. Serves him right for not being quicker with his sword. He should have seen that ground coming and been ready for it. Oh, <laughs> 
and stuff the fur down your gullet! Trained hunter makes a perfect killing machine. Yeah, they're good at mid-range fighting, not too close and not too far from the action. I imagine if you're eating a slimy grey stuff inside a slave's head, it makes you harder in battle. I heard a geek nothing but. <laughs> 
lovely, dear. Uh, the dwarves made this. You've been drinking. You smell like a mule who's gotten into the rock gut. It's a fine anniversary present. Look at the craftsmanship. Our anniversary was last week. It was brought in from the sea. You mean you won this at the tavern? My husband. Get in the house. The rivers of this sea reach beyond the Ethel Duoth. If the tribesmen can escape, they could travel north to Minas Ethel, the Tower of the Moon. It's going to... It's going to hurt. I've done all I can. We've called for one of your people, but I don't... In the meantime, why don't you tell me about that? The medallion you're holding. You just want to distract me. Very well. These are the two trees of Valinor. A symbol of the endless cycle. Life, death, and rebirth. Come closer, and I will tell you their tale. We must... I feel we must distract ourselves from the grim happenings of this day. Be no medals for us, Celebrimbor. No honor or glory. Let those who come after take the glory. We must keep hope alive long enough for them to have that chance. Oh, <laughs> 
Queen Marwen was possessed, that wizard was using her to get to you. Using her to build an army within Mordor. Sauron and Saruman both pursue the power of the Ringmaker. There can be only one Lord of the Rings. It is enough. Here. He probably wants you to have it. It's broken, but... No, human. You keep it. These are ancient things, those trees. We watch them wither and die with the cold. But always, they return. We see strength in their roots, and hope as they stretch into the light. Let this token remind you of the elf you tried to save. Of the bond between your people and mine. the first alliance of men and elves to challenge Sauron within Mordor. No, but we shall be the last. In victory or defeat, my people will diminish. <laughs> Torvin! Heads up, Captain! <laughs> Time to go hunting! <laughs> Hunter needs a deadly man! Careful! 
This one's ready for lunch. Remember what I taught you? Keep your distance. I assume you know the path. The real question is, are you ready to travel it? Whatever happens during the hunt, think, what would Torvin do? Actually, that's a good life lesson for you to follow always. I pray your training sticks, or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty Graug hurls you there. I'm ready to fight the Graug. And that's just what you do. Fight! No art, no finesse! The hunt isn't about swinging and slashing, it's bigger than that! From your perspective, Dwarf, everything is bigger. Yes, this Graug is very, very big! Oh, oh wait, you're mocking me! Graugs are one of the oldest species of Mordor, and the deadliest by far. It's been a long time since I faced this Graug. Let us hope time wasn't as gentle to him as it was to me. My old partner and I once tracked a Graug from Mount Dolmed to Nogrod. We finally slayed it and got stuck under his leg for two days. Ah, those were fun times. Last time I saw the beast was when my old partner and I tracked it into his dwelling. How did you get out alive? Luck. The Graug knocked me senseless. When I came to, it had ended my partner. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. I'd been hunting this crowd for almost a decade. That's a lot of years of dedication to one beast. Dedication? Or a sign you preach better than you hunt? Oh, that's funny, Captain. I'll be sure to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty Grau will be my legacy. Dwarves will tell tales of Torvan the Hunter for generations. And I'll have them throw your name in there somewhere. Whoa! The Caragors are too quiet. I don't think the Grog is home. <laughs> then we go in and we wait. An ambush? How military. I like it. It's an axe. It's just as sharp as the day our father made it.
has fallen. History repeats itself. Let's just do as Torbin said. Rule number one. Never mind, we improvise. It's too strong. I must attack from afar. A shot to the skull will disorient him.
this boat. I think he's dead. <laughs> ah! 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 Well, that's what I call beast hunting, eh? Indeed, indeed. Next time I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, no, no. This is the last time I have other prey to pursue. Well, you need help on your journey, so what do you say? We put no, some no, chance no, it's over. I have to do this on my own. <sighs> if you survive... Uh... Come to the Blue Mountains, eh? <laughs> and lots of friends that will drink until their kegs run dry. I've seen how much a dwarf can drink. <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again. Right. Now, how do I get you out of here? <laughs> Ocean setting in board of I hope that Torvin finds his way home, now that his hunt is over. If he does, then he will find his home is not as he left it. <laughs>